Village Records, Volume 1. The elder entrusted the village to me today. He told me I can learn my duties as I go. I will start by keeping a record of the village. There are still many words I cannot write, but the elder encourages me. I will do my best. There is a young boy who lives in the cabin by the lake with his grandfather. It seems that his mother was called to heaven upon his birth. His grandfather doesn't talk much, but the lad is very bright and spirited. He told me a story about a knight who rides a donkey again today. The boy's grandfather has fallen ill and his condition worsens every day. The boy worries terribly about him and there are murmurs of a madness among the villagers. As I took my leave, the old man pulled me aside and said, If anything happens, you know what to do. I could only nod in response. It was a terrible night. Everyone stood around the cabin and watched as it burned to the ground. The boy looked on without saying a word. Even as dawn broke, he didn't move a muscle. The next day, he was gone. Village Records, Volume 2 All the men cheered when they heard the bow as it raced across the surface of the water. The magnificent oil will surely help us catch fish easier than ever before. The ironworks were only built a year ago and has already managed well with the village. Our sickles and knives shine like never before. The two fish we got from the deal will eat almost anything and are breeding well. The fish farm in the swamp is also making excellent progress. During the day I teach literacy and mathematics to the children. Every evening I dine with a single family to hear about their grievances and recent gossip, all under the roof of this home we built. Since I opened the village up to the outside, we have prospered and people are happier. Smiles have even started to appear on their faces. A strange group of black road people descended upon the village from the castle and raised an ominous flag with a spider-like insignia upon it. After preaching about salvation and forgiveness, they injected us with something they claim will cure us of madness. Can they be trusted? Village Records, Volume 3 Date, October 10th The weather has been strange of late. The wheat withers and cows grow thin. Date, December 8th there are signs of famine, it is true. We lack the means to work the fields, but Lord Sadler's orders are absolute. Date, January 30th. 30 people have starved to death, 5 cows will be slaughtered. Date, March 11th. The Patriots gather to cast lots, 6 more chosen for Lord Sadler. Date, April. 8 more today. Date, unknown four more today date unknown 11 more today date unknown two outsiders got lost and wandered into the village we took them to the altar for the ritual no need to cast lots today